Studying of the earthquake patterns over the Reckonus Peninsula, especially in the uh, Swartzengi volcanic system at that, and that adjacent Krisovik volcanic system, clearly shows two clusters of different uh, uh, geographical location. Uh, one of them is the uh, Swartzengi volcanic system, and the adjacent to it toward the east is what we have as the Krisovik volcanic system around the uh, Clear Forward uh, Lake. And uh, if you draw the extension and the transform fault pattern, we come to this conclusion that these are actually plate boundary, Americas and North America in the very simplified cartoon like uh, uh, diagram I'm showing it. And this extend, all this sex system extend from the Reckonus Peninsula through the island of the Iceland toward the north and then exit to the ocean back. That is the mid-Atlantic ridge here they hit the ground and we can see that volcanic systems, the oceanic floor practically at the surface, the source of the magma for these two systems, at least for the Fagodesville and the, for the adjacent Schwarzenegger, looks similar. We have the chemical analysis of that and it's quite possible that it is also the same or similar to what we will have in the Krisovic. So they can have a deep magma source. At the moment, what we are seeing is that our GPS data on these stations you can see on the map here, show that the slowing down of the rise in the sourcing area. This, uh, based on that extrapolation from that, we could uh, predict that the slowing down could be due to the uh, eruption be close in that system. One of the dates was 10th of the March. Now we have another prediction by the uh, Thorwald Thordarsson, uh, professor of the volcanology in the University of Iceland, who has also uh, predicted this before and now has extended it to beyond that for the 20th of the March. It's quite possible, according to him, and I have also previously mentioned that we will have also eruption in the area of the clear for what which is a chrysobic volcanic system i have a video added to that that is around several months ago i was talking about this uh, uh, and what he says also is similar to that there is a 50 50 chance of also uh, an eruption and uh, it may take within the several days or week and the same location as before as the seventh eruption. As I've mentioned, Christovic probably is building a magma reservoir and I've explained it in the coming video. Since the end of the last eruption of the Swartzengi volcanic system in August, we are seeing lots of earthquakes in the area of the Reckonus Peninsula of Iceland. Many of them are concentrated around this lake, which we call Clare Farwatch. And that is forming along uh, a series of the transform and extension faults that divide the boundary between the uh, Eurasia and North America. The pulling apart of the land in this area create this uh, extension and transferring the movement through those transform faults, the top parts at a shallower angle. And uh, most of it at the moment are concentrated in the Krisovic area. And we can see in the depth model of these uh, earthquakes, they're concentrated around the depth of the 7 to 5 or 4 kilometers. This is the area earthquakes are happening. Earthquakes are practically uh, shatter or fracture zones, creating uh, voids and fractures and... Uh, pulverizing rocks, creating pathways practically for any kind of fluid that can flow there. It can be water, brine, or even magma. In this case, in this area, if you have a magma reservoir at the depth of the 12 kilometer, which is in the case in the Swartzengi, that can feed these shallower uh, reservoirs, which are formed by these earthquakes, and create a shallow uh, magma reservoir. We have it in the sourcing volcanic system where this shallower uh, reservoir, like an aquifer, fills up and every now and then erupts as a volcano in this area, as a fissure eruption, actually, I should say. For example, in the sourcing, we had it in the Fagodesville. This is 
happening for the last three years, and we are seeing it here. Uh, there is a possibility. We are seeing formation of this kind of uh, uh, reservoir for the magma, pulverized and fractured zone at a depth that can form a reservoir in the uh, Krisovic uh, area. This area is, of course, a volcanic system. Already we had eruption there, and there are lava fields associated to that, which extend for 50 kilometers, even approaching the town of the Reykjavik, the capital of the Iceland. This is a cartoon which shows what I have talked about in, in this area. And the extension, as we know, is happening in this uh, fashion, that the uh, uh, one uh, eruption in one area, for example, here, as you see in the lava flow marked, that's, for example, Swartzengi, eventually will lead to eruption in the adjacent area, which is this purple area in this uh, map, and create another volcanic system. The Swartzengi may cease to erupt, but the Krisovic eventually will start and take over. As the eruption gets more difficult in the Swartzengi, Krisovic building its reservoir will be the next one to erupt. It may happen any time next year, within two, three day, years, if we are lucky to witness this, or we should say we are unlucky. At the moment, we are seeing the building up of the magma reservoir without actually magma being inside it. This is just a reservoir, meaning a shattered zone of fractures like the aquifers for water, where any liquid can actually gather in that area. And we are waiting for that just to see what happens. I have a video about the situation and uh, what is going to happen in this area, or what is happening, I should say. Please watch that also, which complements what I've said here. We have a series of earthquakes about 17 of them, concentrated in a small area in the Reykjanes Peninsula of Iceland, around the Lake uh, Clearwatwat. And as you can see here, uh, the timing was interesting just a few minutes ago, and the concentration of them in a certain time. And that was it. When we look at the uh, data closely, we see the depth of them is interesting. I've marked them here, you can see. The depth of the five to seven kilometers and the magnitude is written here. They're quite a small. And when we plot them on a chart in three dimension, you can see that they are restricted to a depth of the seven to five kilometers. Magnitude relatively bigger compared to what we have in this area and in that area, we don't have uh, any earthquakes at the moment that is as big as that. Although we have the sourcing swarm rising gradually in the middle, you can see that. And the location of them indicates these are related to the Krisovic volcanic system, a nasty big volcanic system. When the movement in this peninsula happens, the Krisovic and the adjacent volcanic systems the fault lines, they have to accommodate this. The, through the transform faults, as you see here, and this is the jagged line of the transform fault and the normal faults. Transform faults are those ones in the black, I've marked them, the movements of them in the Eurasia and the North America. Eurasia, Eurasia is toward the right. When they pull apart like that, the earthquake happens. And this is the exact definition of this kind of you know, rupture. When such a thing happens, deep in the earth, these blocks of the rock, these slivers of the rock, down to the mantle of the earth, softened at the depth, of course, create this uh, sudden jerky movements. We know they are not related to the magma movement, because when we look at the GPS data for this area, this is Krisovic data, you cannot see any change in the GPS data due to the accumulation and rising of the ground, ground due to the accumulation of the magma. Adjustment to station also doesn't show anything like that. These are the definition of the word tectonic. And this is what we see here. Sudden 
jerky movement which creates rupture and breaking apart of the earth crust that is tectonic this is the definition of the uh, rupture breaking or bursting suddenly and this is the ai image created war when you describe it such a thing something like that of course at the depth no gap between them but that is a tectonic rupture of the crystal to accommodate the movement for the peninsula